Hi all, Mass Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're taking a look at this 1100 watt Fog Cannon. Now this is a anti-theft, anti-burglary device that can fill up a room in a minute with thick white smoke. Now this particular model can be adjusted to deliver 500 to 1700 cubic meters of not being able to see your hand through smoke in a matter of 60 seconds. So uh, let's take a closer look at this Protect 950 XP, which is in fact made in Denmark. It is a very heavy unit. It weighs around 18 kilograms. The only connections is the 230 volt AC input here at the top. And then we have two wires going over here, one for a presence sensor and something else for the alarm system, I guess, to activate this. Now, it also has small switches, and I think I'll find the similar ones over here. And then we have the port where the smoke comes out. And this looks like it's a huge heating element or smoke chamber. We have a container with the smoke liquid. Seems to have a level sensor, and it's marked as being last filled in 2009. So that's a good 13, 14 years back. Now below here we can see we have a PCB marked Protect 200. We have a small Atmel microcontroller sitting here at the middle. We have crystal, we have some six optical protected inputs here. And we have three relay outputs. It has its own power supply. And below here we have some backup batteries small alarm batteries or alarm system batteries here uh, which is wired in series for 24 volt and that is of course in case that a burglar or something like that cuts the power supply to the system then this is actually pre-warmed in an active state it can actually activate just by these batteries and then fill a area up with smoke even with power cut it will probably be a real stupid idea to just plug this straight in as it will probably activate. So let's try that. Okay, so nothing really seems to happen except a small noise comes from it. Maybe it's just like heating up. Sounds like a little fan is running. Got some status LEDs down there at the display. Okay, so now a red LED lighted up. Not really sure what that even means. The red one is for heat on, and the two green swan ones are AC and battery voltage present. And there is also a small tactile button down there, it says S2. Not test or anything, but um, let's try to press it. Maybe it's just some kind of reset as the LEDs went out, and a relay went clicking. So now we only have light in AC, nothing in heat or battery. Okay, battery came online again. I assume it will go into its cycle and then go back into heating mode. We could also try these uh, tampering switches. As these are already not activated, it should have been activated and do smoke just on the basis of that. But I guess if this is uh, rebooted hard from cold um, with all covers off, it will assume it's in service mode or something like that. Snap the red wire. Nah, did not really do it. Shake it a bit. That it would have an anti-tampering device from uh, tilting. So I guess uh, we'll have to find another way to activate this. With the controls taking some more part, there is another two PCBs at the back of the control card. We have the level sensor going down to a small board here, which goes to the main board. And then we have this pump battery board, which goes to these two pumps sitting here at the back. These are put in series, so maybe that is just for getting a higher pressure. Um, that one pump was not enough to pump it fast enough into the large heating element sitting over here or the cooker or whatever we should call that. There's a small fan in here, so that's what we could hear spinning. 
I'll guess that we could actually just try to turn it on again and then um, give these their voltages to turn on and see what happens. 24 volt AC and that worked. And that is because down here we have a 24 volt AC transformer that actually feeds the pumps. So now I'm a little puzzled how the pump control works, but I guess the pump control can actually run on mains if it's connected to mains and if it gets disconnected it has a small pump driver which can convert the 24 volt DC from the batteries to AC to drive the pumps and then yeah let out the smoke. Plugging in the unit we've got fan spin now it's angry okay that's maybe better oh it's angry again ah the fluid sensor got disconnected From all the uh, handling of the PCB here, the fluid sensor got disconnected. All right, just like that. And we're back in business. AC power on. Shouldn't light up in battery this time as that's the... Okay, lights up in battery despite it's being disconnected. Huh? Nobody knows why. And then heating should hopefully turn on. And heating turned on. There is starting to um, come out smoke from it here. So uh, when I ran, ran the pump uh, last time, I guess um, a bit of oil got into the heater and uh, now it's slowly burning off. So uh, seems to pick up speed. Exciting. That actually does make me wonder, are these really uh, smoking a bit when you start them up in a shop or something like that? Maybe not that great when you have something like smoke detectors in a complete large mall or yeah, office complex. Um, but uh, yeah, well, I don't work with these, so I don't know. Maybe we should just give it a go. Try to feed it some oil or smoke fluid. Yeah, that works. Okay, did not quite uh, help to turn it off. <laughs> um, so this is uh, quick, quickly filling up the workshop. Kind of uh, expected, you can say. So that uh, works quite well. Maybe I should just unplug it instead. So I uh, kind of, uh, yeah, being at the disco lies here up in the ceiling. Mm, smells just like in the 90s. Okay, so I did not quite think that through because now I, it's not the smoke as per se and I don't think the sirens in the background is actually coming for, for me. It wasn't that much smoke. Uh, but this actually sprayed oil absolutely everywhere in that direction. So it's all over my flight cases, some pumps, some cardboard boxes. Uh, and the floor. The floor is absolutely slippery now. So yeah. Fantastic idea to run a uh, anti-burglary device inside your workshop. So I hope you enjoyed this teardown of such a device and uh, we got it running. So I'm happy. So until next time, see ya.